Hi, in this video, we're going to be looking at how to use our TI-84 to figure out monthly repayments, as well as how to figure out the outstanding balance before the end of the term. So what do I mean by this? So let's say I borrow some money and I am going to pay it back over the space of, let's say, four years. Um, the outstanding balance before the term is over is any amount that is left to be repaid before that four years runs out. So that is a very useful skill. I could totally just take my calculator to the uh, car dealership and figure out um, what I'm going to owe after a few years if the time is not up, if I've not been required to pay the whole thing yet. We can use the TI-84 in such powerful ways. So let's take a look at that now, how to do so. All right, so Peter takes out a loan of $20,000 to renovate his home, and he's going to pay it back over four years at 8.25% interest per year, compounding monthly. All right, so the first thing that we do, we have to use our finance app. So let's go ahead and go to apps, finance, and TVM solver. Now I'm going to be going a little bit fast because I've already broken this down in another video, but if the pace is too fast for you, go ahead and look at the video linked below. Otherwise, keep following along. Okay, so Peter's monthly repayment, um, we will have to put all of this information, all of this information in. So the number of time periods in all, four years monthly, that is 48 months. Four years monthly, four times 12, 48 months for the entire time. Interest per year is given here as 8.25% per year. PV is the loan amount, the present value or starting value, which is $20,000. And that is given here. PMT is the payments per month. We don't know what that is. That is what we're being asked for. So we're going to leave this as zero to hold the place. This is not the answer. We're just holding the place for now. Future value. Let's take a note here. It's always zero. It's always zero if the entire loan is paid off because that is what you owe to the bank in the future at the end of the time. So because you're paying everything off, you will owe nothing to the bank at the end of the time, which is why our future value is zero. Um, that will change if there is an outstanding balance, but in this case, we want to see how long it takes him to pay everything off. And PYCY is the payments per year. So since payments are happening monthly, that's why we have 12, so we do not have to replace the 12. All right, now that we have all of that in, now we are ready to figure out what our monthly payments are. We, go, we take our cursor, we put it at PMT, and in order to solve this amount, we press alpha and enter to solve. And that tells you the monthly repayments. Now let's talk about rounding briefly. I'm going to put in the number as I see it. We have negative and the number is negative because that is what is coming out of our pocket each month. Our answer, however, will not be negative. So I'm going to leave that negative sign off. All right. So 490.60. 88587. Now, if you've dealt with money before, you know no one rounds money in that way. So we are rounding money, of course, to the nearest cent. So we need to have only two decimal places here. However, you cannot pay back a part of a cent. Once you've paid back a part of a cent, you've paid back the entire cent, which means that this should be rounded up and it should be 0 0.61. So let's go ahead and fix that. Peter's monthly payments is $490.61. All right, now that we've figured out his monthly repayments, we're going to put that in. Oh, sorry, so I'm going to replace that number with negative $491. And oh, sorry, $490. And 61 cents. So that's what Peter is paying back to the bank each month. So the bank is always trying to steal a little bit from us. So we have to put that rounded amount in for our PMT because that's what he's paying each month. Great. Once you've had that, let's try and figure out 
the outstanding balance after one year of repayment. So we're gonna go back to the very top and adjust anything that needs to be adjusted with this new situation of him only paying back for one year. So now he's not paying back 48 payments, he's paying monthly for only one year, so this number should be 12. Or percent interest per year is still 8.25% per annum, or starting loan amount is still $20,000. Or PMT, we just replaced it with what Peter's actually paying per month by rounding, um, is 490.61. And remember to put this number in as a negative. Or future value is written as zero. But in this case, even though I said it's always zero, that's only the case if the entire loan is paid off. In this case, only a part of the time has gone and there is an outstanding balance and we don't know what that balance is. That is what we're looking for, the future value, but only after 12 months. So we leave this as zero as a placeholder and we go ahead and check. This is still monthly, so that stays the same. So our future value, now we can go ahead and press alpha, enter to see what that outstanding amount is. And we now have our outstanding amount and that is, let's go ahead and put 15,000, oops, uh, oops, 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 I thought I was in my document, let's fix that. All we have to do here is alpha enter, comes right back, not a problem. All right, so our future value, that means our outstanding amount after one year's worth of payments is 15,000. $598.72. And uh, talking about what we spoke about before, I just wrote the wrong number here. This should be 73 because if you recall, we cannot round money down. Once you've paid a part of a cent, you've paid the whole cent. And so we can round that up to three because that's over there. All right, and that's the outstanding balance on the loan after one year. So just to clarify here at the end, um, this is what, if Peter's paying back $490.61, sorry, $490.61 each month for 12 months, so he's only gone 12 months, he will still owe this much on the loan. It will take him three more years to finish paying off all of the money that he's required to pay. And that's it. I hope that helped.